Welcome to Tell Your Story. I'm your host, Professor Wood, and today we'll be focusing on ELA Standard 6.C.1, Communicating Through Writing. This standard is about writing personal or fictional narratives using narrative techniques, precise words and phrases, and figurative language. First, let's talk about what a narrative is. This type of writing includes personal essays, fairy tales, short stories, novels, plays, screenplays, autobiographies, and histories. You can tell your story in a sequence of events or in a tale with flashbacks or multiple timelines. Narratives give you the opportunity to share your imagination and creativity. They can be written to motivate, educate, or entertain. Now let's discuss the three parts of a narrative. We will be using my bologna sandwich as a visual guide. The first part of a narrative is background information, which is represented by this piece of bread. Next is the problem, where the main events of our narrative take place. This is our bologna. Last is the resolution or the story's end, our other piece of bread. Put them all together and you have a narrative or a delicious lunch. Yummy! Having trouble starting your narrative? Here's a few ideas to get you going. Start with action or dialogue like this. As Milo tossed and turned in his bed, he didn't notice the glowing orb that appeared in his room. Ask a question or set of questions. What was going through Milo's mind as he tossed and turned in his bed? Who was responsible for his sleepless nights? When will Milo's horrible nightmare end? Introduce your characters to readers in surprising ways. When he escaped his dark planet for the calmness of Earth, Milo never thought his past would catch up to him. As the sleepless nights came more and more frequently, the glowing orb in his room arrived to call him back to those he left behind. Now let's talk about what really sets your narrative apart from others using descriptive and figurative language. These literary devices help you to paint vivid images inside the audience's mind while they are reading. If you use these devices well, your work will come alive for the reader. Let's start with an easy one, alliteration. This is when words in a phrase all start with the same letter or sound. For example, the thunderstorm that night took my little tossing and tanning toward a threat that filled him with terrible trepidation. Hyperbole is another device which is in language that uses exaggeration. For example, Milo watched in fascination as the buildings reached into the sky and touched the sun. What about using automatopoeia? These are words that imitate sounds. There are four examples of automatopoeia in this sentence. Milo swooped down to land on the roof with a thud as the air shuffled from around him. Confused, he took off with a whoosh. You can also use personification, which gives human qualities to objects or animals. The sunlight peeked through the blinds at Milo as he slept peacefully in bed. Finally, try using a simile, which is comparing two unlike things using the words like or as. Milo's world spun out of control like a washing machine, churning and turning its prey. So there you have it. Lots of creative ways to tell your story. I can't wait to read them or be sitting here waiting. I'm Professor Wood. Thanks for watching Tell Your Story.